This is Sandra's and Raymond's school. This is Sandra at her desk. This is Raymond at his desk. Sandra has brown eyes. Raymond has blue eyes. This is what their teacher said. Blue-eyed people are smarter than brown-eyed people. They are cleaner than brown-eyed people. They are more civilized than brown-eyed people. Sandra and her brown-eyed friends didn't like that day. But Raymond did. I felt like I was a king, like I ruled them brown eyes, like I was better than them, happy. Now, the American adventure, the people and events shaping our lives and our times, now. This week, the eye of the storm, an experiment in teaching the anatomy of prejudice with ABC News correspondent Bill Butel. Riceville, Iowa, with a population of a little less than a thousand people, sees the turmoil and hears the angry voices of the times only in television. It has no ghetto, it has no campus, no riots, no demonstrations, no Negroes. Its people are all white and all Christian. It's a relatively poor town surrounded by large cornfields. And it's so far removed from the anguish of the cities that it was often hard for the people here to understand the forces that are dividing the United States today. Until a teacher at the town school deliberately provoked an incident of discrimination based on color. It happened at the community elementary school in Riceville, the town's finest building. Here, nearly 600 farm children are educated by 55 teachers. And one of them, Mrs. Jane Elliott, is determined that along with reading and writing and the new math, her third grade students will also learn about the prejudice and discrimination that are facts of life in this country. So keep your On Monday, we had business as usual. We did a regular school day. Okay. Now, what multiplication facts did I give you? Six times three. Right. Okay. How many sets? Six. Six sets of? Three. Three. Okay. What are six sets of three? Count them again. Eighteen. Right. Okay. Now, let's put that down here. I'm sorry that the rest of you have to wait, but we wait for you so you can wait for him. I think part of education is having a child learn something about living beyond the textbook. Good job. Good job. Very good. I keep telling you, you're the best there is. These are very, very good. Good job. The morning after Martin Luther King was killed, I. A child came into the room and said, uh, they shot a king last night, why did they shoot a king? And we had to discuss it. We discussed it, and I had thought about this all evening the night before, watching this horror on television. And at the time, we were studying an Indian unit, and I was ironing the teepee as I was listening to this thing, and it became so utterly ridiculous to me. This whole thing is so, uh, so senseless and based on something so illogical that I thought they had to find out, children have to find out. Adults obviously don't care, or if they do care, they don't care enough to do anything, or are incapable of doing something, I don't know. I think children have to be told that this is wrong, and telling them they can turn you off. I wanted them to be involved in finding out what happened. I wanted them to know at least a little bit about how it feels to be stepped upon. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States 
of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above, from the mountains to the ground. Week. Does anybody know what it is? National Brotherhood. National Brotherhood Week. What's brotherhood? Be kind to your brothers. Be, be kind okay, to your be brothers. Kind to your brothers. Like you would like to be treated. Treat everyone the way you would like to be treated. Treat everyone as though he was your brother. brother. And is there anyone in the United States that we do not treat as our brothers? Yes. Who? Yes. The, black yes. People. Black. the black people. Who else? In Absolutely, the Indians. And when you see, when many people see a black person or a yellow person or a red person, what do they think? Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Dumb people. And look at the dumb people. What else do they think sometimes? What kinds of things do they say about black people? Oh, uh, they're negroes, niggers. In the city, many places in the United States. How are black people treated? How are Indians treated? How are people who are of a different color than we are treated? Like they, like they are part of this world. They don't get anything in this world. Like Why is that? Because they're different color. You think you know how I would feel yeah. to be judged by the color of your skin? Yeah. I don't, do you think you do? No, I don't think you would know how that felt unless you had been through it, would you? <laughs> no. Is there anything about you people that is different? from one another that we could use to make part of you. Like the eyes, the color of the eyes Okay, we could use the color of your eyes. How many in here have blue eyes? Okay, how many in here have brown eyes? It might be interesting to judge people today by the color of their eyes. Would you like to try this? Yeah. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? Since I'm the teacher and I have blue eyes, I think maybe the blue-eyed people should be on top the first day. I mean, the blue-eyed people are the better people in this room. Oh, yes, they are. Blue-eyed people are smarter than brown-eyed people. My dad isn't I got hooped. Is your dad brown? Yeah. One day you came to school and you told us that he kicked you. He did. Do you think a blue-eyed father would kick his son? Yeah. My dad. My dad. My dad's blue-eyed. He's dad. never kicked me. My Greg's dad is blue-eyed. He's never no. kicked him. But Greg's dad is blue-eyed. He's never kicked him. What color eyes did George Washington have? Blue. 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 This is a this is a fact. Blue-eyed people are better than brown-eyed people. Are you brown-eyed or blue-eyed? Blue. Why are you shaking your head? <laughs> are you sure that you're right? Why? What makes you so sure that you're right? I don't know. The blue-eyed people get five extra minutes of recess, while the brown-eyed people have to stay in. Mm. The brown-eyed people do not get to use the drinking fountain. You'll have to use the paper cups. You brown-eyed people are not to play with the blue-eyed people on the playground, because you are not as good as blue-eyed people. Well, the brown-eyed people in this room today are going to wear collars so that we can tell from a distance what color your eyes are. Now, the blue-eyed people, each of you can pick out someone on whom to put a collar. So the blue-eyed people each come up and get a collar. You can choose someone to put this collar on. Where are the most fun 
some seats in the room, at the front or the back? Back, front. Front. Where should, who should sit in the front then? The blue eyed I think the blue eyed people should, absolutely. On page 127. 127. Is everyone ready? Everyone but Laurie. Ready, Laurie? Brown eyes. She's a brown-eyed. You'll begin to notice today that we spend a great deal of time waiting for brown-eyed people. The yardstick's gone. Well, okay. I don't see the yardstick, do you? It's probably over there. Hey, Miss Knight, you better keep that on your desk so if the um, brown people, brown-eyed people get out of hand. Oh! You think if the brown-eyed people get out of hand, that would be the thing to use? Who goes first to lunch? Blue the blue-eyed people. No brown-eyed people go back for seconds. Blue-eyed people may go back for seconds. Brown-eyed people do not. Brown eyes. Don't you know? Oh, they're not smart. Is that the only reason? Don't take too much. Much. It might take too much. And tell the person that goes back to uh, stay there because the last of these new cars. So, so if they don't ask you, they just might go back. Oh, you think I should alert the yeah. lunchroom help to know that these people should be yeah, like, treated differently? Yeah, like the woman that you go back for seconds, tell her. She'll know. Yeah. Tell her. That's Miss probably we should do that, shouldn't we? Miss Day. Okay, quietly, not a sound. seemed like when we were down on the bottom, everything bad was happening to us. The way they treated you, you felt like you didn't even want to try to do anything. It seemed like Mrs. Elliott was taking our best friends away from us. What happened at recess? Were two of you boys fighting? Yeah, yeah. Russell and John. Russell. What happened, John? Russell called me names, and I hit him. Hit him in the gut. What did he call you? Brown eyes. Did you call him brown eyes? They always call us that. We yeah. had to get all of the... Um, What's wrong with being called brown eyes? It means that we're stupider than the one not that. Yeah. But, oh, that's yeah. just the same yeah. way as other people call uh, black people niggers. Yeah. Is that the reason you hit him, John? Did it help? Did it stop him? Did it make you feel better inside? Stop her. Did it make you feel better inside? It make you feel better to call him brown eyes? Why do you suppose you call him brown eyes? Right, because he has brown eyes. Is that the only reason? He didn't call him brown eyes yesterday, and he had brown eyes yesterday. Didn't he? Because we just saw yeah, that. Yeah, or since you put those blue things on there. Yeah. Tease him. Kind of tease him. Oh, is this teasing? No. Well, he did it. Were you doing it for fun, to be funny, or were you doing it to be mean? I don't know. Don't ask me. Did anyone laugh at you when you did I watched what had been marvelous, cooperative, wonderful, thoughtful children turn into nasty, vicious, discriminating little third graders in a space of 15 minutes. I think I learned more from the superior children than I did from the children who were considered superior than I did from the children who were considered inferior because their personalities changed even more than the others did. Whether they are this, whether this is what they would like to be inside, but uh, society inhibits them, I don't know. But for one day we removed their inhibitions and they were ghastly. We didn't like one another very well by the end of the day that first time.
yesterday I told you that brown-eyed people aren't as good as blue-eyed people. That wasn't true. I lied to you yesterday. The truth is that brown-eyed people are better than blue-eyed people. <laughs> Russell, where are your glasses? I forgot them. You forgot them, and what color are your eyes? Blue. <laughs> Susan Ginder has brown eyes. She didn't forget her glasses. Yeah. Russell Ring has blue eyes, and what about his glasses? He forgot them. He forgot them. All these brown-eyed people are listening to what we're saying. Look at Brian. Are blue-eyed people good listeners? No. Brian, will you put that down, please? Thank you. Yesterday we were visiting and Greg said, boy, I like to hit my little sister as hard as I can. That's fun. <laughs> what does that tell you about blue-eyed people? They're naughty. They fire up. The brown-eyed people may take off their collars. And each of you may put your collar on a blue-eyed person. You were. The brown-eyed people get five extra minutes of recess. You blue-eyed people are not allowed to be on the playground equipment at any time. You blue-eyed people are not to play with the brown-eyed people. Blue-eyed people go to the back, the brown-eyed people come to the front. Okay. Brown-eyed people are better than blue-eyed people. They're smarter than blue-eyed people. And if you don't believe it, look at Brian. Do blue-eyed people know how to sit in a chair? Very sad. Very, very sad. Who can tell me what contraction should be in the first sentence? Go to the board and write it, John. Come on. Loosen up. Here we go. That's better. Let's do it again. Oh, there's nothing like a W. Thank heaven for the blessing. Here we go. <laughs> Come on, let's do it again. Loosen up. Up, up, up. Come on. That's better now. Do you know how to make a W? Okay, write the contraction for we are. Now that's beautiful writing. Is that better? Yeah. Brown-eyed people learn fast, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Boy, do brown-eyed people learn fast. Very good. Greg, what did you do with that cup? Will you please go and get that cup and put your name on it and keep it at your desk? Blue-eyed people are wasteful. Okay, you want to be timed this morning? Yeah. A. I use Orton Gillingham phonics. We use the card pack. And the children, the brown-eyed children, were in the low class the first day. And it took them five and a half minutes to get through the card pack. The second day, it took them two and a half minutes. The only thing that had changed was the fact that now they were superior people. I thought you were going to give me more. You went faster than I ever had anyone go through the card pack. Well, over the, why, why couldn't you get them yesterday? We were doing the collars on. You think the collars kept you? just keep thinking about those collars. Oh. And my eyes kept getting rolling around. Oh, and you couldn't think as well with the collars on. Well. Four minutes and 18 seconds. I know we weren't going to make it. <laughs> How long did it take you yesterday? Three minutes. Three minutes. How long did it take you today? Four, four, four minutes, minutes and 18 minutes. seconds. What happened? One down. Why? What were you thinking of? This. I hate today. How do you do? I hate too. <laughs>
<laughs> because I'm blue-eyed. See, I am too. It's nothing, it's not funny, it's not fun, it's not pleasant. This is a filthy, nasty word called discrimination. We're treating people a certain way because they are different from the rest of us. Is that fair? No. no. Nothing fair about it. We didn't say this was going to be a fair day, did we? No. no. And it isn't. It's a horrid day. Okay, you ready? What did you blue people who are wearing blue collars now find out today? Oh, yes, no. <laughs> I know what yeah. they felt like to yesterday. So I did, too. Really. How did they feel yesterday? Down. Like a dog on a leash. Yeah. It feels like, like a chain chain them them up wherever you go. In a prison. Like you're chained them up in the prison. Like you shot yeah. and you're throwing the key away. Should the color of some other person's eyes have anything to do with no. how you treat them? No. All right, then should the color of their skin? No. Should you judge people no. by the color no. of their skin? No. no. You're going to say that today and this week and probably all the time you're in this room. You'll say, no, Mrs. Elliot. Every time that question. No, then, no, when you see a black man or an Indian or someone walking down the street, are you going to say, <laughs> look at that silly looking thing? No. Does it make any difference whether their skin is black or white? No. Or yellow? No. Or red? No. Is that how you decide whether people are good or bad? No. Makes people good or bad? No. Let's take these collars off. Hey, don't stick yourself down there. No, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'd like to just jerk it off if I could. You'd have to sort them out. Here, Mr. you can. What would you like to do with them? Throw them away. Go ahead. Go ahead. Eat them, Mr. Ellen. Eat them. Don't eat them like great. in the kind of person you are? No! Does that feel like being home again, girls? Yes! Oh, well, <laughs> Okay. Who knows the song? Anybody? Okay, who can sing it? What's the matter, Sheila? situation, isn't it? Okay. Who knows what? Where, oh, where is sweet little Sheila? 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 Where? Jane Elliott's third graders have learned something of what it is to be isolated and separated from other people. Not because of what you are, but because of the color of your eyes, or the color of a piece of cloth around your neck, or the color of your skin. We don't know if these children will remember what they've learned, but it's not likely that they'll forget their courageous and creative teacher, who made their lives wretched for one day, and at the same time gave them the priceless understanding of human psychology. This is Bill Butel in Riceville, Iowa. Anytime you're feeling sad, instead of feeling bad, just remember that ram. 
Cozier speaking. This has been a presentation of ABC News.